tonight from the Wicker Whisk Wicked Whiskers Facial Hair Club uh, and the Whisker Roundup. What number two? Is that what it was? Anyway, uh, Michael Holvey will be stopping by here in just a few minutes, and he's going to tell us all about this event coming up uh, April 22nd, and that's just in a couple weeks, so that's that's pretty good. Let's find out all about this event and see what he has in store for everybody. What's up, oh, hey. Michael Holvey? And What's look at he, he even brought his wee beady eyes. <laughs> hey, man. What's going on, guys? What's going on, Michael Hilvey? You see it. Long day. Long day. <laughs> Here to mess with you guys for a little bit. Hopefully your ratings don't tank too much. No, they're going no, up. I mean, yeah, they're, they're definitely going up ever since you popped on here. I mean, it's like, oh, my gosh, everybody, tune in yeah. now. Holy's yeah. live. Straight I know, down. T-Had came in. He's like, there's my president. That is not my your president. T-Had's, your T-Had's president? Uh, maybe. Look, wow. congratulations. I mean, T Hat you know definitely needs his own president for sure. He, he, he does. He does. He's gonna. He be, he's gonna be it. a great asset for you. Well, we're gonna put him to work. That's for darn sure. This is good. This yeah. is what he needs. He needs a purpose. Yeah. Uh, don't we all? Yes. No. No. Oh. Oh. No. Nuh-uh. I just drive and drive and drive. That's my purpose. Oh, well, I guess I do have a purpose. There we go. Never mind. Everybody needs a purpose. <laughs> your, miles are, your miles are just crazy. Man. Okay, Halvey, when me. was the last time we saw you? Uh, Texas, a couple weeks ago. What, Con? Texas, a couple weeks ago? Uh, a month ago. Where were we? We were down in Conroe. Oh, was it that last one? time I seen you guys? Yeah. All right. Yes, it was. End of February. So like a month ago. Yeah. Yeah. My wife's first sunburn of the year. Yeah. How, how was that? Did, did you heal from it? Uh, I did not heal from it. She did, but she still got the marks from it. Still. Yeah. Still. Well, so she, she's very light. Into, skin. So is your event going to be inside so everybody can be safe? Yes, it is going to be inside, regardless of that tornado that just came through and moved my phone. Don't have to worry yeah. about that. Um, no tornadoes and no sun. Yes, no sun, no tornadoes, rain or shine, freak snowstorm, it's happening. So, I like that. Uh, I think so, we got was I right? What's that? Was, was, I right, was I right saying that Leadington, Missouri is just south of St. Louis? Yes. Uh, we're 45, 50 minutes, depending on how fast you drive, from downtown. Okay. So, yeah. It's a little small town. Uh, I know you guys wasn't here last year, but it's it's small. So, you, you drive and you blink and you miss the town. Hey, I mean, that's usually the best towns or the towns that you can just drive through and kind of blink and miss them. I mean, I grew up in one, and I like it. I, I, I like that feel of a, a good small town. And, and hopefully a beer competition coming to a small town will really get the, the little town behind it. Well, right? I hope so. Last year they wasn't they wasn't for sure what was going, what a beer competition was, so we actually got double booked. But this year we have the whole place. So uh, they, so what they were came you back double booked with last year. Uh, they they actually put a band on like an hour or two before our comp was supposed to end, so we were being like pushed. So at the end, it was just a, a, a train wreck. You're telling me, wait, wait, Bush played while you guys were doing a beard competition. No, was Gavin no. Rosdale like going all little little little. I mean, like no, auction. Oh, I can only, Gavin Rosdale. I can only <laughs> wish, right? But no, they had a Why? band. Why would you wish they, that? Huh? Why would you What'd wish you? that? Man, any band I would wish come play for us. That would be awesome. A Justin's band matter. will come and play for you. They're going to go on a beard competition tour. So every, anyone who's looking for a band to play at a beard competition, Justin. Justin Wood will give you his phone number. Yeah, His band will play it. At this point, Justin Aaron, Wood if you want to carry like one of those 1980 boom boxes and just, you know, play it real loud, that'll work too. There you go. We I mean, don't have to have bands. We just need boom boxes. We just need boom boxes. Unfortunately, it's Viking theme, so I don't think they really had boom boxes back then. The day they could put horns on it, right? I mean, I guess we could. Uh, yeah, 
Sure. The sounds of our enemies. Axe on it. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. All right, Michael Holby. Where where exactly is this place going to be, or where is your event going to be taking place in Leadington, Missouri? So it's going to be at the bullpen in Leadington. Not for sure of the address, but it is on the flyer. My bad. Leadington. Leadington, Leadington. yes. It it doesn't matter. By the end of the night, everybody's going to be saying a different different saying. So they better uh, say Leadington. They better right. say Leadington. That's right. That's so right. Uh, here's a, here's a little tidbit. We not have a maximum occupancy number for the venue. So, so let's put a million up. people in there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, ideally, I would love to see it standing room only, elbows to elbows. But hey, I'll take what we can get, right? That's right. I can't tell which one of you it is, but there's a lot of background noise going on. Uh oh. Hold on. Stand by. Is it me? I don't know. No, it's fine now. It got super quiet on Michael Holvey's end as well. I don't think uh -oh. it's me. I think it's Holvey. Uh-oh. Anybody Gosh. that's around me, leave. We're ruining this podcast. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's right. Everybody get out. Everybody get out. So How many people probably me and my daughter just came home. That's all right. Well, we'll be fine. So, so it's in uh, the same place as it was last year, right? Same place as it was last year. Uh, we get to close the bar down this year like crazy. So if we want to throw an after party, you guys want to stay around. I no longer drink, but you guys want to stay and party it up, we can do it. What's the what's the closing times at 2 a.m.? Uh, it's like 1, 1 30, but I mean, we can stay till the next morning. Oh, my gosh. Becca, Becca McConnell's heck. She's like, oh yeah, she's oh, not standing. Oh hey. So, yeah. So we got. Uh, I, I I believe it's thirteen or fourteen categories this year, and uh, believe it or not, we do have one surprise category that we're not telling anybody until you show up. Sure, uh, well, go ahead and tell us what that is then. Yeah, what is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be that one category, guys. Which one? Yep. Which category are you talking about? That that one category that's going to be a surprise. Not everybody's oh, yeah. going to be able to uh, attend or participate in that category. But as you register, uh, if you are able to compete in that category, it is a free category all by itself. Mm, must be C hops so, because no one's like into C hops anymore. I never see any C hoppers yeah. at conferences. Yeah. That's that's the thing. It should be like. You shouldn't have to pay to do the C hops category because you're already right. walking around with hops on your face. So you've already paid the price. Exactly. But uh, <laughs> so I know I told you earlier that uh, Aaron, that we got like a week to go, a little over a week, a week or so, and have seen zero trophies. So no pressure, no pressure. The trophies are being broke up between two different uh, builders. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, so guys, come on are not going to be there. You just you don't know what they're even going to be. Correct. Uh, <laughs> like they that. will be here. Um, I I can tell you that uh, right now, first place is all original Johnny Rodriguez art. So if you guys like awesome. art, all of his art. Uh, well, all first place categories are original Johnny Rodriguez. Wow, that's cool. I like yeah. this. Yeah. So um, can, we can reached out. To, gonna, what's can, that? Can you say if, it's gonna, if the art is going to go along with the category or not? Or is that. So that was the initial theme. Uh, uh -huh. Like I said, I have not seen the artwork. I just shot out to Johnny. He said, let me have it. So he took it and ran with it. So are you saying yeah. that each category is going to have their own individual artwork? I'm hoping. I will not say that 100%. But you may say that there's going to be uh, individual artwork that might be made up for each category. You'll you'll agree to that? I will. Okay. I will. But somehow um, Ian has already seen the paintings. So, uh, yes. Ian and they have a bunch it. of uh, not behaving well donkeys on them. Probably. With, with Ian's category, yes. Um, which we, the we dolphin. Don't, 
We don't. So what sound does a dolphin make? Because Ian is our MC this year. He'll He'll be like, I'm I'm Ian. I'm I'm, 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 that. Actually, guys, that's why I came all the way down to Conroe was to do a secret interview to see if Ian could MC a comp. And and how did he do? Uh, right now, he still has the job. See, even, it was it was touch and go there for a while, but it, it was it. it was he he picked he's up crying. there he picked up there towards the end when we were like folding the tables up and stuff and was ready to go home. He did a really good job. That's finally, when he started being good, when everyone left, yeah, yes, when they took the microphone Perfect. away from him, pressure yes. was on. Yeah, that's usually when Ian sounds the best is when no one can hear him. Correct, and I had to share a hotel room with him. He does snore. Oh yeah. I, I, I've heard that both of you all snore from a very reliable source. He says he probably so, <laughs> probably so. So here's a question totally out of context for you, Aaron. Okay. Okay. So like you it. and Natalie both go to Disneyland. Is it Disneyland or Disney World? Land. A lot. We've been to both. Okay. So Lightning both. McQueen from Cars. Okay. What? Lightning, Lightning McQueen. McQueen? Okay. Would he require life insurance or car insurance? I think this is a fantastic question that you could ask on Bantering Beards that comes out on Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern on the Talking Beards Network. If you love questions like this, this is exactly the type of thing that you would love because, you know, Bantering Beards is a thing, and it comes yeah. on right here. Tomorrow, breaking um, news! Breaking news! Um, Disneyland so, has yeah, Lightning um, McQueen. I thought Dis- Lightning McQueen was a Pixar character, not a Disney. Ah, uh, you know what? Disney you owns right. Pixar. Shut up, Aaron. Oh, and Wait, the Lightning McQueen me feel ride is actually in California Adventure in California. Uh, it's not even in Disney. It is across the street in California. Uh, well, yeah. Um, but to answer your question. I don't know. Like, that's tough. I guess it would just, like, in that world, they're all cars. So I would think that car insurance would just double as life insurance since everyone is cars. Right? Fair enough. Or maybe the car government makes them buy both. That sounds Ooh. more like Double if you don't buy both, you go to jail. Ooh, Mike Baker right. says he needs both insurance. There you go. Yeah, there it is. So the so. the car government in the Cars movie requires all citizens of Car World to have life insurance and car insurance, or you go to prison and your engine Ooh. will be removed. Oh, battery ouch. taken so, out. So no, there no runner, no escape. No escape. No, they're they're pulling your engine. Ouch! All is. right. Well, I see. There it is. Don Wayne knows car insurance yeah. slash health insurance. Love it. Love it. Well, we got an answer tonight. Oh, yeah, see, every Jacob's like, yeah, everyone's everyone's in on this whole conversation here. I feel like yep. we are having an episode of bantering beards right now. Well, see, I just totally took off the course of the the beard competition that's upcoming next week, next Saturday. Oh, in nice. Lettington, Missouri. Oh, what's Let, the name of it again? Don't, don't. <laughs> what? What was the name of it again? Oh, Whiskey Roundup Two. Very good. Yes. But don't go to Leadington, Missouri. Yeah, go, to go, Ledding- to go to Leadington. If you go to Leadington, you've gone too far. You got to come back to Leadington. And that's yeah, where just the is. about a mile. Yes. Yes. Yeah, one so. one takes close, you close. there and the other makes you sink there. Correct. That, good thinking. So smart. So, so Michael Holvey, who is going to uh, be judging this competition that you have coming up? Ooh, well, let's start from the top. How about we have Dan Tackleson from Mad Viking, Oklahoma? Okay. He's the uh, top. Natalie Johnson from Aiken, South Carolina. I don't know if okay, you guys I've have heard of her. her. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, sure. um, let's see here. Uh, Christina Long from Central Texas. Christina Long. Yeah, she's actually kind of short, but uh, she – Oh, the short Christina Long. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, yes. The, the real loud one. Is she loud? She's kind of like no. She is kind of like Lightning McQueen. I mean, is that her yeah, new nickname? It's all like, yeah. 
Ka-chow. That's what Christina Long is always saying. She's just like, ka-chow, everywhere. I think next time we see Christina Long, that should just be it. Ka-chow. Purple-haired margarita. Ka-chow. Yep, purple-haired margarita. Ka-chow. Uh, also, we have Force Figgins from Cincinnati Beer Barns coming up. Nice. I haven't yeah, seen we, that guy in a while. Yeah, oh, I, I, I kind of uh, strong arm rust, wrestled him to get him to come over. Yeah. So, actually, all I had to do was ask. It was pretty easy. Oh, well, that's so, less fun. You had yeah, to fight uh, Force Figgins for him to come to your event. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was a fight to the death. let everybody know that. Yeah, I went up to him, and I it, it was a rough fight, guys. I said, Force, do you think you can, you can judge? And he turned around and said, yes, I think I can. So, yeah. And then, then uh, right in the- from... River City Beardsman, we got Aaron Crutchell, the president. He's going to drive out from Jeff City, Missouri to uh, judge for us. Very cool. So, uh, did I cover all five? Ian? I think that was all five. Ian, Ian's yeah. M- Ian Long's MCN. Who? Christine? Ian Long. Ian Long. You, have you oh, guys the heard scoring of him? guy from earlier. Yeah, have you guys heard of him? Have you ever been to any of his... Whatever you do, do not text Michael Halvey during the show. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that was work calling because I never get time off. So, oh. um, so we got Ian Long Tell MC. Him you're busy. It, it, they should know I declined it. We got Ian Long MC. We have Natalie Johnson, Judge. We have Forrest Figgins. We have Aaron Crutchell, Dan Tapperson. Are we missing one? I know Purple I'm missing hair one. Margarita. Oh, her. Yes. How could I forget her? Purple hair margarita. You, oh. you did it. You're, you're All did right. It. I get a star. Yay. You, 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 you did, did it. it. Man. You did it, Mike Halsey. All right. Guys, I have to take that call, but it's not me. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to kick this thing off at 5 o'clock. Registration is going to begin. We're going to leave that open until about 6.30. And, uh, and from 6.30 to 7, we're going to get all the paperwork done and kick this thing off promptly at 7.15-ish. I would love 15-ish. To- I like that. Yeah. You know, we got to throw in that ish. Yeah. So Do you with- have anything? Uh- Go ahead, Scott. Well, when you're registering for this event and uh, you, have of course, have your standard categories, do you guys have any different category that is like kind of specific to your event? Uh, I would say no. Uh, we we are going to 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 help generate funds. We are going to do twenty dollars first category. If you feel the need that you need to enter a second category, we're going to let you do it for ten bucks. Okay, oh, that's cool. Um, there there we have a couples category combo. You know, a group category. Yeah. I don't care if you show up just like we're talking now. As long as it's helping the charity, let's do it. What now? Go. What are you specifically looking for in a couples category? Like, I mean, is it a team of people like a uh, chop and a uh, goatee? Like, or is it like husband, wife, whiskerina, mustache guy? Uh, we're, I mean, we're kind of looking for something to fill the theme. So we're going, we're going, uh, obviously Vikings. So we would like to see. A Viking pair or a combo, and with that, what about a year. what about a Viking plum or a Viking orange? Maybe a Viking Ooh. apple. You bring it on. Oh, this is, this is such great news! I love the fruits. Most importantly, yes. what about a, yeah. what about a Viking banana? <laughs> well, brains will be here. Wow! See, yeah. he's got his costume, and yeah. he's going to be entered in the. The small trophy group, unfortunately. Yes, Eric Hopper's not going to let me down on that one. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. Uh, last year, we put all of our trophies together in a hurry. They were all handmade. And uh, the day of the event, we I found out that we did not have a goatee category trophy set. Wow. Thank you for having <laughs> Mike Olvey on the show tonight. But uh... Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Uh, I was scrolling down to do the same thing. Yeah. So 
the the trophies last year took a, roughly about three hours to make per trophy. It, just for the plaque, the the uh, stain, the knuckles had to be cut out. And my engraver lives about 45 minutes away. So I called her in a mad dash. We're at the venue. And she said, well, I'm having a high school reunion today. So I had no engraver. And she said, bring them to me. I will drop what I'm doing. I will run home and I will do them for you. Wow. So I came back home to make the trophies. And I had just enough wood to make three trophies. The problem is the third place trophy was just a tad bit smaller than first and second place. And Eric Hopper happened to win third place last year. And at every event he has been to, he has made sure that he sent me a picture of his normal size trophy to not let me forget it. <laughs> That's so, that, that I mean, how it was an oversight, I don't know, but we we rectified the issue. No one was going home without a trophy. We made it happen. But that's a fun well, little. Say, that's a fun story. Yeah, I will say if anybody deserves the, the teeny tiny trophy, it's Air Cop. Oh, for sure. hands down, he's such a small guy. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, he's super small, and it definitely fits like his whole his whole thing he has going on is just being super small. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> What's so, going uh, on, Mr. I have Turner? a question, have a yes, question for you there. Uh, do you will you have a category for young men of puberty status whom only have fuzz? Uh, well, it's going to be zero to four inch category, so I'm going to have to say yes. Now, and can these men of under eighteen enter your competition? Yes. There you go. There you go, Rebecca. You got an answer. Yes. So, but no yes. kids category though. Oh, uh, we do have a kids category. Yes. Okay, so but this is this could be falling into that category too, where if they're under like uh, age 12, 13, 14 years old, is that so, so our cutoff is 17 for our whisper kids categories. So one will be 18 in September. So he would be in the kids category, huh? I I mean, sometimes people who are under the age of 17 who murder people get charged as an adult. So, I mean, I mean, he he's more than welcome to to go in both. If if he wants to make a beard, he can go in the kids category. If he wants to try his luck and come into the zero to four. Uh, I do know that we got a couple of people that has a uh, splotchy beard coming in just yeah, I talk with my hands here for a second. That's that that's the sign language for splotchy beard. Yeah, yeah. Splotchy beard. Uh so I didn't know Ian was competing though. I thought he was MCing. Well, yeah. We had to give him something to wow. do because he thought that he could compete with the big people. Big people. He's six six. Woo. He's six six and he's seventeen. <laughs> that's gonna be a big That's kid. a linebacker. That's a back line. He's like He's not a linebacker because he only weighs like 82 pounds. Oh, well. Michael Jordan was also six foot six, and he was not a linebacker. Okay, so they're playing basketball. He's definitely a basketball playing kid. Right. Probably. He just reached up straight in. He's a volleyball player. <laughs> yeah. So okay. I guess I guess Becca to to answer that if if he wants to make a beard, because he, he'll be 18 in September, we'll put him in a kid's category. If not, we'll put him in the zero to four inch category. There you go. I think he'll, he'll do very well in the zero to four inch category, yeah, probably. Please, but by all means, I mean, we're, we're not going to, you know, point fingers and have fun. We're just, we're here to raise money for charity. So, oh, sweet. Wow. Ian, Ian can't believe you just said that. I know, because we're going to be pointing fingers at Ian all night. Yeah. And of having course. fun. Yeah. So so uh, what about uh, raffle items? Like, do you guys got any cool or unique raffle items? You guys doing the traditional, uh, you know, tickets and, you know, the same, same thing kind of that everyone knows about? Basically, yes, the same thing. Uh, I will tell you that we got an awesome uh, live auction item in the mail the other day. I do not have a picture of it with me. But it is a Viking moonshine decanter from Jaeger Bomb Designs. Uh, Scott got a hold of me. 
And when when Scott gets a hold of you, Scott gets a hold of you. He wants it now. And he said, hey, what's your address with no questions asked? And I procrastinated about five minutes and got about 17 texts. Address, address, address. And I sent, it, sent it out to Scott, Scott, you're just gonna do it. You better freaking do it. That's right. So uh, he, he uh, blessed us with that uh, live auction item. I will tell you, it came out of the box long enough for us to look at it. And it's been shipped over to uh, our club member who's putting all the raffles together. Um, bullshit what, Scott? He's it calling BS out. on you. Nah. <laughs> I, Scott, I'll send out the text, man. You're such a good brother, you know. He, he sent an amazing live auction item. I hope that somebody's got deep pockets for it because we're going to pair it with, uh, hopefully we pair it with a good bottle of whiskey, even though it's a moonshine discanter. Pair whiskey, we, yes. Yep, okay. We're going to pair it with a whiskey. So um, whiskey. he did take care of us in that. Uh, I give props out to uh, Barefoot Brains because he opened up his arts art gallery and we have a lot of Brains' as art uh, that he has acquired uh, going in the raffle. So that's awesome. Uh, she follows me religiously yeah. and she, he can't wait to compete. It's happening. Bring it. Wow, this Bring is yeah, it. this will be fun. Uh, Especially, I know Becca's been, she's been in the chat room on multiple shows, pop piping in and out. And um, so, yeah, it'll be, it'll be cool to have someone that, you know, is probably, I mean, hey, she hasn't been to any of the, any comps has she and i don't even know if she's coming to this one maybe she's just messing with us but if she does that'd be super cool but no she she has not been to an event and i've known rebecca since i was four years old wow so, yeah uh, it's pretty wild I, th it. this will this will be my granddaughter's she's five this will be her first event and she got to play with synthetic hair on our countertop uh last year she made just a quick realistic beard she's five Turned out great. Every time I get ready to leave for a beard comp and she's around, she asked if she can get her beard and go. And That's we're like, awesome. no, she can go yet. So, so yeah, she's proud of it. I got pictures of her doing it. So let's let's go out and have fun. That's what it's all about. Now, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, sir, Scott. No, I, I um, got one more thing. Up yeah, here. Dusty, the Dusty Dud says, "What's up, dudes? Just oh. wanted to say this month is my year. I also plan on going to the beard competition in St. Louis this year. Maybe uh, I'll see you there. It'll be his first time attending, which is basically what I was kind of going at with Becca is, you know, the new people coming into the space, and you know, it's it's cool to see their excitement towards it, but then it's also like the after when it's done, like." how 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 was their experience like that's the cool part to hear too like you know everyone's it, their expectations are like you know totally blown when you talk to them after the event because they weren't expecting it and it gets you know th that that that's the moments that grip the people and pull them in and you know have them come yeah i i remember my first one i, w I was hooked after my very first one so it was, it was a great experience and that I'll always be grateful for coming into this community. You know, oh, yeah. I feel that. Pe people ask all the time, well, how can you just afford to travel? And, you know, this year and last year, I didn't travel a whole lot, but you, you make time to do it because for me, it, it, it not only do I get to see people that I haven't seen in a while, but it also warms your heart when you get to hear, well, we raised $10,000 to be, you know, to be a part of, no matter if you're raising a dollar to be a part of that for me because I'm able to give back, you know, so. Uh, Just speaking of giving back and, and money and stuff like that, tell us about your charity that you've selected for this year. Uh, so it's going to benefit raising a village here in Park Hills. Uh, okay. It is a counseling center that uh, handles everything from mental and physical abuse for children and women and, and children. I'm sorry, women, children, and men, to drug and alcohol abuse. Uh, but what really got me and us was the fact of what this counseling center does for the children of, unfortunately, sexual abuse. Um, one lady, Leanne Roberts, who, who runs the, the uh, charity, she is a very small in stature woman, but she will go to court and stand between the accused.
computer and the child. So there is no uh, mean eye in the children. And, uh, you know, so to us, that was huge. That, that someone shouldn't in our- have to be like an outside organization that does that. That should just be the way the court does it. Yeah. That. Correct. But, you, you know, in, as she's told us, sometimes it's not like that. Sometimes right. these kids have to go up and, you know, sit there in a courtroom while Joe Blow bad guy staring them down to intimidate them. You know, Man, that and, sucks. Uh, we, they were our charity last year as well and and to to see what they were able to do i'll just tell you last year we were able to take care of two children who could not afford the therapy of the treatment that they needed uh and for her to be able to say that we as a beard community and we as a beard club helped two children acquire what they needed for a year was well worth my time Heck wow. so, man. That, it, it sounds yeah. like a good cause for sure. Yeah. Uh, so we, we have a bunch of raffle items. I mean, I know I've spent countless hours at night just pounding away on a computer asking for, you know, donations and, and anything that anybody could help us with. So that's the way to uh, do it, man. You, you gotta, you gotta beat the streets. And I was, just... I was always afraid of, of, of the word no. And barefoot actually said, I'm not doing this for you. So you got to, let me tell you what you're going to do. You know, there you go. I just made me a template and I went with it. There's been some no's and there's been a lot of yeses. And I, we are more than grateful for it. You just you cast know. a wide net. You catch all you can, man. That, that's exactly. the way to do it. I mean, yeah. I, I, so we, we have one raffle item in particular. I think that I put out on a page was a, uh, crocheted baby Yoda. Uh, I reached out to this company. His name's Grogu from well, Natalie from the other room. She she will get me, but I. So you guys can let let's start over. Natalie from the other room and everybody that is a huge Star Wars fan can kill me because I am not up and up with everything. His name is Grogu. His name. All right, just shut my camera off. Uh, so <laughs> when I reached, when I reached out to this company, I, I got back. What can um, a crocheted company do for your beard competition. And, you know, my response was, you wouldn't believe what the beard community will give money for. Mm-hmm. And they, they uh, had asked, can we do this? Hands down, yes. And it should have been half the size of what they made, but they sent us a larger version. And it just felt good. They said, you know what? All we ask in return is some pictures of it going on the raft table. So. Yeah. So. I don't know. I was I was the guy begging this year. Hey, man, you did it. If you got a bunch of raffles and, and people are going to come bid on them and there's going to be live auctions going. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you're, you're, did it. It. you're right. You're, you're, you're going to raise you're money for raising a village. Yep. And we're all going to have a good time doing it. Hey, I say it's going to be a good time, but it all requires everybody's effort. You know what I mean? It ain't just one of us. Yeah, but you're providing the space, you're providing the surroundings, so you're you're giving everyone a reason to have a good time. Right. And we're going to have a good time because we got the we got the video this year. So. And you have yeah. Josh Barefoot friends. And I have Josh Barefoot Branch. You're right. I mean, what else can you – everybody's just going to come for miles around just to see Josh. Yeah. And you know what? They might. They just might be there. I don't know. I am. That's the only reason I'm coming. And I'm thankful for that. I was like, Josh Barefoot Brains is going to be there? I'll be there. Yeah. And that's, I think that's pretty much what you told me from the beginning. The only way you'd come is if he was there. Yeah, and that's yeah. it's. I stood by it. And he said yeah. in, in the chat – night he is for sure coming and today we set up that we were for sure coming so it's all because brains is going to be there yep there you go see for sure if you guys don't know brains you need to look him up although he's no longer on social media so he's not on instagram either no i do believe he left instagram as well what a knucklehead well he's got (laughs) follow yeah he's got youtube we all should follow yep for uh I don't know what do you say about thirteen dollars a month we get brains' uh first comp of the year. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, mine too. First of the year. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. You better go to I don't know. We'll see. Aaron B. Johnston. So, but yeah, everybody's go. got all ages. See, so. Natalie's only judging because Brains is going to be there. So I appreciate you, Natalie. I appreciate you. Yeah, we will be there. For me. Actually, my wife's in the background, and she just yelled, that's a lie. She's doing it because of me. So I, I don't know what kind of deal they got worked out. I don't I don't know what's going on. There's, there's a lot going on here. I don't I'm telling I don't you. Know. So Rebecca's got Cincy. She can donate a Hogwarts warmer. There you go. Becca, you're awesome. We would accept it if you would donate it. There yeah, you go. We'll reach out to Michael after the show. I please, think. please do. I got but, you. I got yeah. you. Yeah. All right. So well, it's been fun, guys. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by and uh, telling us all about the Whisker Roundup that'll be happening uh, April 22nd. It yep. starts at five o'clock Central Time. And uh, what was the name of that venue? I didn't write it down. The Bullpen in Lettington. Bullpen. Yes. In Leadington. Leadington, Missouri. Not Leadington. No. Nope. Nah. Don't go there. Hey, I don't care how you say it, how you pronounce it. On that flyer and uh, also the beardcalendar.com, it gives you the address, so there's no excuse on why you can't be there. I appreciate that plug. Yeah. And also, if they did not know already, Honest Amish is supplying top three winter bags in all categories with product. What? Yeah. With product well that was super yeah. nice of them i know right? yeah, yeah. honestamish.com for all your beard needs that's right guys michael holby thank you very much and thank uh you, buddy, I'll, I'll, I'll see you in a couple weeks all right you guys be safe thanks for having us on michael holby awesome to see you again see you bud bye see you. okay bye